Hello, I'm Mark with the Trimble Mobile Mapping Support Team. In this video, I will highlight what's new and what's changed in version 23.4 of the Trimble MX Assets Manager software. Right away, notice that the name of the software has changed. There is no longer a separate content manager and asset modeler software. The capabilities of both of these products have been combined into a single product named Assets Manager. There is no longer a procedures button that was used to manage runs. The software now opens to a default view of the resources catalog. This catalog is where all of the editing and managing of mapping resources takes place. The plus dropdown list in the resources catalog view contains some of the functions that handle mapping resources. To import a mobile mapping mission, select create mapping resource from the list. This software is no longer using the term run as it was too specific of a term. Everything is now referred to as a mapping resource. Every mapping type, such as oblique, terrestrial, aerial, and mobile, no longer has its own import procedure. The create mapping resource function is the same as importing a run in the previous version of the software. To open a mapping resource, toggle its radio button in the resources catalog view. To close a mapping resource, toggle again its radio button in the catalog view. Toggling the radio button of a mapping resource is the same as opening and closing a run in the previous version of the software. To edit a mapping resource, right mouse click on a resource in the resources catalog view and select edit resource. This is the same as editing a run in the previous version of the software. Notice that the navigation buttons for some of the wizards have been relocated to the top of the dialog. To populate the columns related to the image statistics of a mapping resource, right mouse click on a resource in the catalog view and select view image availability from the menu. To remove a mapping resource from the catalog view, right mouse click on a resource and select remove resources in the menu. This does not remove the data from the computer, but simply removes the resource from the catalog view. This is the same as removing a run in the previous version of the software. To add an existing mapping resource, select the plus dropdown list and choose add resource. Browse to the folder containing the resource data, select its OMR file and select the open button. This is the same as adding a run in the previous version of the software. Vector datasets are now stored as a generic resource. The type of generic resources can be point clouds, vectors, images, and meshes. To create a new vector resource, select the plus dropdown list and choose create generic resource vector file. The steps for creating a vector resource file has not changed in this new version of the software. New to this version is create generic resource vector database. This will allow you to store vector data in a database format. However, before you can do this, you first need to establish a database connection. To add an existing vector resource, select the plus dropdown list and choose add resource. Browse for the vector file. In this example, I will browse for a polls OVF vector file I created earlier and select the open button. After a vector resource has been added or created, it is visible in the generic resources view of the resources catalog. Similar to the mapping resources view, the vector resources can be open, closed, and removed from this view. Also new to this version is create asset resource that is available in the plus dropdown list. This is the equivalent to the asset inventory theme from the previous version of the software. The term theme is no longer used, but this is the same concept in this new version. All of the functions available in the plus dropdown list can be found under the resources icon up at the top. There is a new assets icon and asset inspector tab that handles the functions of what was called asset inventory in the previous version of the software. The assets icon allows you to create and verify asset objects. 
the Asset Inspector tab is now what used to be the Asset Inventory tab. Tools and functions found under the Extensions icon in the previous version of the software have been split into two new icons, Manage and Extract. Some of the available tools found under the Manage icon include Blur and Erase, Ghost Cleaning, as well as some other tools. The Trees, Polls, and Traffic Sign Analysis tools, as well as the Clearance Checker, are just some of the tools that are available under the Extract icon. Finally, there is a task manager that allows you to process a list of saved jobs in a definable sequence at a later time. Certain tasks like importing a point cloud or optimizing images while creating a mapping resource can be delegated to the task manager. Tasks are processed in a top to bottom order in the list. Drag and drop a task in the list to change the processing order. That's all for this video about the new version 23.4 Trimble MX Assets Manager software. Thanks for watching.